What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a quick information video regarding the Day 1 limited bounties for the Spring Blossom Festival in Monster Hunter World. The Spring Blossom Fest has arrived once more on consoles and for the first time on PC. Much like other seasonal events, there is lots to do. The majority of event quests have returned, players get double lucky vouchers and Spring Blossom tickets for logging in, the Gathering Hub is all decorated and there's seasonal platters, and there are daily limited bounties, yielding more Spring Blossom tickets on top of other rewards. Now much like other seasonal events, this little daily series covers each of the limited bounties when they reset, and aims to help people who can't maybe log in to check for themselves. In my opinion, it's worth checking to see if the limited bounties are worth logging in for, as every now and again, there will be a valuable gold Wyvarian print included in the rewards. But anyway, let's move on to talk about the day one limited bounties. Now, PC and console versions of the game have exactly the same limited bounties. First is a Field Research Event Limited Bounty to complete two event quests. It can be done at high or low rank, making it relatively easy. And for doing so, you get research points, some armor spheres, a Spring Blossom ticket, and some Blossom fireworks. Next is an Ecology Survey to hunt Toby Kodachi. We have to hunt two of these Fang Wyverns, and once again, it can be at high or low rank. And for doing so, you'll get research points, an armor sphere plus, a Spring Blossom ticket, and Blossom fireworks. Next is an Ecology Survey to slay Kushala de Aura. We have to slay one of these high ranking monsters, although, seeing as we can't get Kushala at any other rank, it's not like we have much of a choice. Anyway, for doing so, you'll get research points, an advanced armor sphere, a spring blossom ticket, and more blossom fireworks. And then finally, is the general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you'll get research points, a heavy armor sphere, a spring blossom ticket, and more blossom fireworks. So those are the limited bounties we have today. Not too difficult, although it's going to take a minimum of three quests to complete all of today's tasks. This is because there are no event quests that include two. Toby Kodachi. So the easiest way to get today's limited bounties done would be to take on the event quest where Sun meets Moon twice. This has players taken on a low rank in Puke Puke and Toby Kodachi. This will complete the event quest limited bounty as well as the Toby Kodachi limited bounty. And then afterwards, just take on a standard Kushala Daora. However, if you're a masochist, you could try taking on Arch-Tempered Kushala if you wanted to. But anyway, before I go, I have got a dedicated video going over all the event quests and which are worth doing, which should be up on the channel later. But anyway, I hope this little video helps, and until next time, I've been Darkblade, bringing you the Day 1 Limited Bounties for the Spring Blossom Festival in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the little video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.